overlay mm -hmm. will be updated in just a moment here. But we have Luis Scott Vargas playing against uh, Jean Emmanuel de Praz. This is going to be the the four color deck against Grixis. And uh, I mean, we see the exploration here for Luis. We see Hull Breacher, Lion's Eye Diamond. It's kind of close. Yeah, both of these hands are pretty slow. Oh, oh the forest right there is critical. That's, this hand is no longer slow. This, that's just dirty. That hello nine one one. I'd like to report. Uh, just that—that that is insane. Okay. As Luis might say, never didn't have it. Never didn't have it. Agree. Yeah, that might just be Luis's middle name for all I know. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, <laughs> so right. here we'll have. Hmm, I guess I'm gonna take a lesson from Luis because I'm not sure what I would do. I'm sure yeah. he'll make the correct play. What are, What are the options? Well, I mean, you could do anything. Currency converter helps dig into your better spells. Like if you have the whole breacher, you're gonna want to find a wheel to do something with it. But the whole breacher is, uh, you know, getting that out nice and early is is sometimes pretty good. And the dryad does the best at stabilizing the board. So really, a lot of options. I think uh, the currency converter to just try to draw into your Better spells probably make sense. Okay, yep, that 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 adds up. Even electing not to play the Talisman of Curiosity here, that's a uh, kind of fascinating. Now, oh wow, and and, and Dark Confidant just yeah. does jun things here. Reveals Thoughtseize. There's a spell pierce with a pickup here, and and I feel like Jean Emmanuel is just he's this this looks great from yep. from his position. When you keep that hand, you're worried about flooding because if you start flipping lands off the top, you just don't have anything to do with your mana. However, sometimes you just draw two spells and never didn't have it again. Yeah. Just both players taking advantage of their draw steps here. All right. No, note to self, draw good cards off Dark Con the Dunk. Okay, got it. Yeah. Well, one thing you'll see the better players do is uh, they definitely use the top of their library as a resource. They don't they don't sit there expecting to not draw good cards. <laughs> Interesting. What is the what is the age old adage? Like it's like play to your outs. Yep. Fair enough. Yeah, I'm looking at this Jason the Mind Sculptor. I'm like, all right, well, we finally found an answer to. I wonder the... why the Thossies didn't get used. Yeah, that's a really good question. I mean, so here, here's here's how I see it. At this point, you know, Jean has played against um, Nathan has played against Reed, and now is playing against Luis. So I'm pretty sure, like, and this is just the level that these players are playing at, John might have a pretty, John Emmanuel might have a pretty good idea of what Luis's deck looks like, and maybe says, like, maybe that's factoring into why you don't play the thought. I'm, I'm spitballing here. I, I This is a guess. Um, yeah, I guess if you're worried about specific things that aren't in the range of what your opponent can do, it makes sense to hold it. Yeah. All right, here comes. Maybe he wanted to represent something. Ooh, now this is interesting. This is like uh, E4, E4, E5 kind of deal, like Hull Breacher against the Fairy Mastermind. Oh, yeah. The Fairy Mastermind is not a May ability, so that does not work out well for the Mastermind gamer. Oh, it's not. You're right. Okay. Fortunately, Dark Confidant just puts the card into your hand instead of yes. drawing it. Yeah, Bob. Bob will find a way around the hull breacher. Uh, Takahashi, on the other hand, well, you just don't play the fairy mastermind then. Oh yeah, Thoughtseize also puts a two-two into play because of this currency converter. Ah, okay. Value. Yeah, so, another like, nice use of this card. Now this is interesting. Electing to take the the Jace, the Mind Sculptor over the Lion's Eye Diamond, and I suppose this makes sense because if you play. I'm not 100% sure here about... Um, do, do you agree with taking the Jace over the LED with the Spell Pierce? Yeah, the Lion's Eye Diamond isn't doing a whole lot. It's probably better to just take your opponent's best card. And then save the Spell Pierce for something else? Yep. Especially if he knows about the Yorlingus, Spell Pierce is always going to be good. So, Under Mountain... Taking the initiative, and with the way that the board looks, LSV is probably not expecting to give it up so fast. But uh, as we see, this fairy mastermind is going to come into play and probably just take that initiative right away. Yep, flash, flying, very good at taking the initiative. Next turn, if you 
Yeah, you have the mana already set up. You can play the Custody Lich and then uh, stabilize the board a little bit. The Lich is pretty nice here because each time you regain the Monarch, they have to sacrifice a creature. So it actually disincentivizes Luis to take the initiative and Monarch back. That's because just... if you don't have a way to take out the Custody Lich, you're just going to have to sacrifice again. Good design. Love it. Sometimes you'll see people try to flash Custody Lich in play and then... The design is lackluster <laughs> because it has to be in play for you to get the trigger when you gain the monarch. Okay. Let's Another see. thing you'll see people do with the custody lich is uh, they'll have the monarch and try to get the trigger again when it comes into play. And it's like, nope, you have to gain the monarch to get that trigger. Sort of a confusing card. Ah, I see. I see. Well, Demonic Tutor is a really sweet one in the hand there. Um, yes, what does this represent? Time walk at the minimum. Oh, yeah. And if you're time walking with the initiative, let me tell you, the game can end real quick. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that is true. Because then you get to uh, basically accelerate into Forge plus uh, Trap. So, like, let's say you put, uh, you know, next turn, put two counters onto the... Very mastermind. I guess Luis, Luis's life total is pretty high, though, right? 16? It's not as high as you'd think, though, because let's say, okay, so we get the Forge next turn. He'll be at 12. And then let's say you've got Dak Faden, you've got Dark Confidant. Maybe you just draw a Snapcaster and cast Time Walk again, and then the game's over. So I think that uh, Luis really only has maybe a turn to stabilize. If even that. That's kind of crazy. I mean, the Dark Confidant might be a secret win condition as well, though. Depending. I think that his curve is low enough that it's not that big of a liability. The Custody okay. Lich might be the most Often. expensive card in the deck. Yeah. There is a treachery in the deck, and there is a mystic confluence, so maybe those are the lucky flips that would have to, to pen out here, and we're going to yeah. go ahead and cast The confluence might just win the game for him if he drew that one, though. <laughs> just bounce all the enemy creatures. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, there's a lot of mana in the hand here for Jean Emmanuel, and that just means we can cast all of these spells, multiple spells like Dak Faden, and maybe the Custody Lich. Can we do that in the same turn? One, two, no, three. No, not quite. Not quite. Okay. I'm wondering if it's better to use the Dak Faden to steal the currency converter to just shut that value engine down, or if it's better to loot and look for the Snapcaster and Jace. Well, I can way. recommend not looting. Oh, yeah. Good call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hull, Breacher. That, <laughs> Hull Breacher just menacingly there, um, you know, hanging yeah, off so the boat. So we'll be stealing the converter. And so here, Luis probably has to. So how does this work if Luis doesn't activate? I mean, he will. But uh, he would be able to put the creature into Luis's graveyard for a token. Oh, okay, cool. That's good to know. Oh, yeah, I guess in that same vein, you probably don't want to play the Custody Lich and take the Monarch because... You're passing that right back, right? Yeah, unless you have an answer to the whole Breacher. Oh, and, it's, and there's no way around it either. Custody Lich, you have to become the Monarch. You have to sacrifice the creature. Yeah, it, it is not optional. Mm -hmm. All right, well... The crew is coming in here now. Uh, the the ball will be passed back. Oh, wait, there's a wrestle The spot. fairy didn't even attack last turn. That kind of shows that Jean is feeling not the best about his situation. This is an excellent cleanup here now, right? Three creatures trade for three creatures. And now if this is all that sticks... Oh, yeah, we go straight into Custody Lich for the whole breacher. Yeah, okay, okay. It's it. We did it. The thing has been done. Oh, and Dak Faden combines with the uh, currency converter. Okay. Oh, yeah. Synergy. A little bit of value town. Yeah, in fact, that allows him to cast his whole hand because he can get the treasures off of the converter when he discards lands to Dak Faden. Yep. Now, so we'll see Custody Lich come down first. Should go without saying, but I mean, by no means is Luis out of it here. We have the Lion's Head Diamond. Can but your Lingus would probably seal the deal. Oh, no, I guess this Spell Pierce is uh, pretty good insurance. Yep, that's just it. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, and then there's Swords to Plowshares too, which, uh, you know, I mean, it, it would be good, but the Monarch is very, very, very hard to, to, to beat. So we'll take a look at um, LSV's sideboard here, see if there's anything interesting worth bringing in here. Again, I think LSV's deck, deck definitely does go, like, bigger than the opponent's. Um, but the problem is, is that the Grixis decks are so disruptive. How do you plan for something like that? Yeah, I think the the best way to deal with a deck that is like really good at reacting is to just try to lower your curve as much as possible. Um, it's good to get those two for ones when you can. Cards like Currency Converter and Monastery Mentor are going to go a long ways. The Teferi Time Raveler is just amazing in this matchup. It shuts off all the counter magic and it lets you play much more aggressively. Uh, taking out the Hydroid Crisis, probably just too much of a mana investment to risk getting it countered, even though it blocks pretty well. Okay. And on the other side, any special cards? Or you can see the Dothy Voidwalker kind of being hovered over here briefly. Lion's Eye Diamond might be a tip-off to something like Echo of Eons, especially in the style of deck that Luis has drafted with the Exploration and things like that. So maybe deck we want... good to get rid of, I think. Yep. You don't want to draw two and then discard two right into a whole Breacher. Oh, I like this too. There's the Leovold as well. That's kind of cool. The Leovold might be too hard to cast, right? With the one forest and the yeah, you confluence. Need, you need some green mana. Okay. Might be worth bringing in though, knowing your opponent has wheels, even if it's hard to cast. I, I would say it might be worth bringing in, knowing your opponent's Luis Scott Vargas. <laughs> yeah, that last game was uh, it caught me off guard. I didn't think that Jean was in such a good spot, and then it just ended. Yeah, just like that. But immediately, we see going into game Woo! two. Jean, yeah, he takes a mulligan down to into all the time walks. <laughs> oh, <laughs> true. On the other side, Luis has Island Savannah Remand. Keep. Yes. Plenty of good potential if he's allowed to get this Monastery Mentor going. His hand is pretty good at making sure that it's going to be doing the good things. Yeah. Oh, and then just like that, already Fatal Push off the top. That's, that's World Champion Energy right there, by the way. In case yeah. you're wondering at home what it looks like. He drew the Sapphire... But he's saving it so he can maybe remand and then play the Monastery Mentor and get a token right away. Okay. JVP going to come down this turn. It's going to meet uh, a remand here. That's no land. So let's see if we can rip a land. Oh, there's the oh, land. So good. Perfect, perfect. The Mentor just comes out and is going to make two tokens right away with the Sapphire and Brainstorm. Pretty nice. I was going to say, was that doubt that I sensed there from you? No land? Hmm. hmm. Well, if it were me, I wouldn't have found the land. That's, oh, fair I enough. forgot okay. that we're watching LSV. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just built different. All right. Well, I mean, Monastery Mentor, kind of terrifying. And the way this is right now... We actually just don't have an answer to it. Fatal Push does need Revolt in order to handle the, the Human Monk. It makes sense to just run out the Jace, just try to find more action, get your graveyard filled so you can flip it. Maybe he then, can get five cards in his graveyard and then use the Jace to trigger the revolt for the fatal push. Yeah, yeah, but it's it's one of those... Th oh, okay. Does this give us anything crazy? Not particularly. I mean, LSV will be able to play the Oracle and then drop two lands off the top. Okay, yeah. After only putting one back, I get it. Yeah, there'll be another one underneath it. <laughs> There's the forest that we know about. There's the oh, island, too. Okay, okay, wait bit. a minute. <laughs> oh, my oh, there'll God. be another land underneath that one, too. Okay, I guess <laughs> He can't keep getting away with it. This is it, right? This is Monastery Mentor showing off why it's kind of just the best storm engine. Now, from this point on, I don't even know if Jean Emmanuel can come back, right? Because like we saw the the Toxic Deluge, that was in Nathan's deck. That's not an option here. Yeah, Jean Emmanuel is going to have to get some kind of board presence and then time walk a few turns in a row. 
So I wouldn't I wouldn't sell him out just yet, just because Time Lock can do such ridiculous things. All he really needs to do is get a foothold in the game. And if you're taking like two extra turns and you're in a racing situation, you can win. Unfortunately for him, it doesn't look like that's going to be something that's going to happen. So we, we might get max value here out of this finals match. We might go to a game three. But this board looks very, very dominating for uh, Luis. Now, what's really interesting is that, I mean, we still have the, the time walk, Snapcaster time walk up our sleeve. I was looking at a different line here, actually. Tell, talk to me about it. So if you fatal push, like you're getting attacked with everything. So if you fatal push one of the tokens and then flash in Snapcaster, target the fatal push, let Snapcaster die, and then post combat. Oh, maybe he's still doing this. Um, ethical question. Are we about to see a reverse Uno here? You may be well, asking me what the... Treachery on Monastery Mentor followed by Mox... Oh, wait, no. Mox is coming out first. No, land. Yeah, no, land there's, there's, there's no way this works. There's no way that Jean Emmanuel gets the reverse sweep. That is, that's, that is like just not a thing that could happen. Yeah, Louis, uh, Louis said, don't say I that. Don't, know, like, don't, say, don't say that to me. Uh -uh. Isn't, okay, so Louis <laughs> does have pest infestation. But like, you can just untap here, make a bunch of tokens, take an extra turn, and then you have Vendillion click for the pest infestation. And then what does Louis have? This is really close. This is really close. This could close. go either way. No, no, no. I, 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 look, if there's one thing that I've learned today from today's stream, you can't <laughs> bet against Luis. You just can't. No, Luis is beatable. I've seen it happen. Lies, slander. He just doesn't post those videos. <laughs> All right, that's a good one. I can see Jordan chuckling too. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> Okay. Uh, all right. Dark, dark. Yeah, that goes away. But now, well, what's, see, now what's better than one time walk? Huh? Two time walks. Uh, JVP does like telepath on man does exile the time walk though, right? Yes. Okay. 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 I but mean... if you take another turn with time walk, and then on your next turn you're like playing Snapcaster, Expressive Iteration, maybe another spell, and then your whole team is getting. Plus two, plus two, and you're already with a lot of power in play. I mean, you go Jace minus two. Things things tend to snowball. Jace is a minus three. Oh, it's a minus three. Okay, okay. All right, never mind. Yeah, yeah. No, th th then it's fine. Then it's fine. Luis is safe. He's going to get another turn here. It's totally okay. Okay, we're flashing back the fatal push, not the expressive. And then, because you got the time walk queued up, so then fatal push can take care of the... Does it take care of the Oracle? Yeah, yes. It does. And then, yeah, if, if Jean Emmanuel is able to draw some non creature spells, maybe like. Die! The <laughs> no! <laughs> no! No! How way! much damage is this? Eight? 11, 13 damage? Yeah, it's. Stop it's, it. Stop adding up numbers. I can't take this right now. So much damage. <laughs> the numbers are off the charts. Honestly, I think it's best to just attack with everything and then just hold up the Mystic Confluence. What can LSV do? You're already winning on board. No, oh, please, just... Luis Scott Vargas. He can do it. I believe. Believers, where are you at? He doesn't have a delighted halfling in play. His spells can be countered. They're not safe. <laughs> My voice. Wow. There's no... There's That is... Yeah, this is just setting up a, a kill next turn. This was the game where Luis had Monastery Mentor and like four tokens and the Oracle of Multi... St See, from Luis's point of view, maybe things aren't so bad. Pest infestation, take my mentor back. Things go if back this isn't track. great cinema, I don't know what is. This is, this is actually... But... Wow. Unfortunately, you don't have three mana to pay. And this gives Jean two more cards, so all he really needs to do is find any non-creature. And if he finds two, it's, it's straight up over. Jean Emmanuel de Praz. Maybe we get a bounce-bounce counter. Mm, probably good to draw at least one card. Alright, there's the mentor. Uh, yeah, Mystic Confluence triggers? <laughs> I would like to put 
Eight triggers on the stack. Oh, oh bouncing the snapcaster! Oh, that's classic play. What a genius. This is why he's the world champ. He sees the lines. Oh my goodness. And just leaves oh, the wow. monk. Oh my god. A step ahead of me. You can't lose now. Oh, I guess you need another blue. You need another blue. No, you can just snapcaster expressive. You don't need to do the mystical confluence. Oh, and then expressive will definitely find something. Oh my god! There's there's no way. I'm I, <laughs> I'm on the edge of my seat right now. This game. I is literally, so good. I, I have nothing to say. I'm speechless, and that is rare for me. So any spell just like doubles the damage output. <laughs> any non-creature spell. Oh, and then you can use the Jace too. Now you said Jace was three, right? Yes. So yeah, Jace could just cast the Mystical Confluence, and is that lethal right then and there? Five two. That's what seven seven plus six. That's only thirteen. Hmm. Oh, I mean, okay, this is okay. going to be good enough, though. All right, all right, all right. I can get behind it. And then you have Vendillion click as well. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, you can just click on the draw <laughs> step, and then you don't even have to worry. Yeah, Revoker, turn off the mocks, click on the draw step. -uh. Keeping it safe. Nuh-uh, 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 uh-oh, okay. Oh, that's infinite mana, if it were allowed to happen. <laughs> Or, well, I mean, if you could do anything with the infinite mana, too. I mean, you could draw a card with currency converter. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. So you, know, you, have, you have to take the Ori out. You just have to. I mean, actually, I think you could leave him with all three here. <clears throat> really? It's such a low chance that anything bad happens. Luis would have to draw, like, a <laughs> retrofitter foundry or something. That's how it starts, baby! With a dream! <laughs> you would only have... I think you're more likely to have bad things happen if you remove a card from the hand and let him draw something. Because, like, as it stands, he's going to be forced to use currency converter, and then he gets one look. See, I like all the reasoning and all the logic that you're giving me, and I have one counterpoint, and it's the three words on the bottom left of your screen. <laughs> Well, we do see that Jean is removing the lion's eye, just cutting out any kind of infinite hopes, mana hopes possibilities. And dreams. Hopes and dreams just dashed. All right, all right, all right. And an undermountain is not enough. We got and our first champion! Is!